What's up guys and pals, it's your boy Vino and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am bringing the funk. Now I don't mean just any old funk, I'm talking about that Jamaican rum funk. That's right, I'm gonna make three cocktails today using my absolute favorite Jamaican rum, Smith and Cross, right? I got my cheat sheet here, let's learn a little more about Smith the Cross, right? Now Smith the Cross is a pot still Navy strength rum, right? Now Navy strength rum basically means like back in the days the uh, the British Navy used to give their sailors a ration of rum. But in order for the rum to make it onto the ship, it had to be at least 100 proof. Why is that you might ask? Because if the stuff spilled onto the gunpowder, you could still ignite the gunpowder. So think about it, this stuff is strong enough to still ignite the gunpowder even when it's all soaked in it. You know what I'm saying? So as a full disclosure, if you make one of these cocktails tonight, you might want to stay away from gunpowder, any kind of dynamite or anything like that, you know? <laughs> anyway guys, so this stuff is distilled in Hampton Estates in Jamaica. And the Smith & Cross lineage goes all the way back to like 1788, all the way to England. Uh, so this stuff's got an amazing history to it. And uh, you know, in terms of the, you know, what this stuff tastes like, I mean, you know, Jama Jamaican rum is known for its funkiness, it's kind of ripe bananas and stuff. And this has that like tenfold. I mean, you got, you got the funk right on the nose, like you smell it, you know, you've got those caramelized, caramelized ripe bananas, you got some of the exotic fruits, some spices, earthiness. I mean, this is a flavorful rum. It's got a lot going on, really complex. And this version here, this particular one, because it is a Navy strength, is really, really potent and strong. But damn, is it delicious, you know? Anyway, folks, I could gush on about this rum all day long, so let's go ahead and make some cocktails, all right? Finally! So make sure you stick around, because we're gonna book you down. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna make you guys three cocktails using Smith and Cross. Um, the first one I'm gonna make is actually a last word riff. Now, if you guys know anything about Vino, I love the last word and I really love last word riffs. It's a great cocktail to riff on and this is one of my favorite riffs of the uh, of the last word, all right? So let's look at what is in the sauce, all right? The first thing we're gonna need is three quarters of an ounce of Smith and Cross, all right? Very good. Now, you know, if you have another, you know, pot still um, Navy strength rum that you want to use, go ahead and go for it. You know what I mean? I just I just love this one in particular, right? Now we're going to do uh, three quarters of an ounce of maraschino liqueur. All right. You want to make sure you use this and not like, you know, cherry herring is a very different type of cherry liqueur. All right. Now we're going to do three ounces of green chartreuse. All right, so you can imagine already that these are three very potent spirits. So we're gonna get a whole lot of flavor in this drink, all right? Then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, all right? There we go, beautiful. All right, so now we're just gonna add some ice to our shaker. Oop. Ice overboard. And then we're gonna shake this for about 10 to 15 seconds, all right? All right, folks, I think we gave that a nice, healthy shake. Let's go ahead and get our glass out. I, I'm using a, more, a martini glass, which I had here, chilling like a villain. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and double strain that into my glass. Ooh, the smell coming off of that is just amazing. Yeah, I mean, you guys you guys know Vino. Vino, I love me co cocktails that are potent and flavorful and just got a whole lot of funk going on or a whole lot of whatever going on. I just like aromas. Um, you know, I come from the wine business, so I'm, I'm, I'm used to all those kind of aromas and notes, you know? Anyway, folks, so there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, garnish that with a little dehydrated lime wheel. And there is our Wordsmith cocktail. All right, so you know the drill, like put that cocktail to the side and we're gonna try all three of them at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that, all right? Now, the next cocktail I'm making is called a Bahamas Daiquiri. Now, I know we're using a Jamaican rum, but it is what it is, you know? I'm still the Caribbean, right? <laughs> anyway, so let's look at what is in the sauce, right? The first thing we're gonna need is an ounce and a half of our spirit of the day, and that is Smith & Cross, right? Like I said before, feel free to use any, uh, you know, a pot still navy strength rum that you have. You know, something with flavor, something funky, you know what I mean? The next thing we're gonna need is three quarters of an ounce of a coconut rum, all right? So we're gonna be using shipwreck today, which is my personal favorite one, all right? Uh, this stuff, oof, that smell of the coconut is amazing. Ah, so good. 
It makes me feel like uh, the Caribbean. It makes me feel like I'm on vacation, you know what I'm saying? And the next thing we're gonna use is a quarter ounce of a coffee liqueur. I'm gonna be using Kahlua because it is already rum based. So we got three different kind of rum spirits here, you know? All right, so that's a quarter ounce of your coffee liqueur. All right, so this one's got some really cool flavors going on too. So I'm really excited to try this one out. I've never, I've never had it before. And then we're gonna do uh, an ounce and a half of pineapple juice, all right? So this is gonna be a real tropical vibe cocktail. So that's exciting for me. I'm actually going on my first Caribbean trip in a while since before this whole craziness that we've been going over in the last couple of years. So I'm very excited about that. And then I'm gonna do a half an ounce of lime juice. All right, beautiful. Excellent. All right, folks, let's go ahead and put some ice in our shaker and get to shaking what our mama gave us. I mean, it is Jamaica, right? We gotta bring that funk. All right, 10 to 15 seconds. All right, folks, I think we gave that a nice, healthy shake. I gotta tell you, I'm sitting here, I'm only one cocktail, I'm two, one and a half cocktails in, and the smell of that Smith & Cross, that funkiness, that banana, ripe banana smell is just permeating throughout this apartment, you know what I mean? Anyway, folks, let's go ahead and get our glass out. I'm gonna be using a coupe, which I had chilling like a villain, um, and let's go ahead and double strain that, all right? Again, like I said, that smell of the funky banana. And I'm also getting, with this one, I'm getting the coconut too, which I like. Um, so that combination smells amazing. All right, beautiful, look at that. Look at that wash line there. All right, then I'm just gonna garnish that with a little dehydrated pineapple slice that I had here, all right, for you guys. There we go, all right? All tropical-like, all right, folks? Anyway, there it is, our Bahamas daiquiri. All right, guys, so the last cocktail is called the Brooks, all right? Now, I never had this cocktail before, I don't know what this thing is gonna taste like, but when I saw the ingredients, I was really, really intrigued by that. So let's, let's look at what's in the sauce, all right? The first thing we're gonna need is three quarters of an ounce of our Smith & Cross, all right? This is an equal parts cocktail, all right? Then we're gonna do uh, three quarters of an ounce of uh, Velvet Falernum, right? Sounds pretty normal so far, right? Like a nice tropical cocktail, right? I mean, I'm sure you can see what else is on my bar, so you can tell what's coming next. <laughs> and then we're doing three quarters of an ounce of Chinon. Like that, that, I love this stuff. It's my favorite Amaro and my favorite rum together. But God, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. It intrigued me enough it, to try it. You know what I'm saying? It sounds absolutely amazing. Um, I love contrast and flavor, so I'm really excited about this one, all right? So three quarters of an ounce of chinar, and then we're gonna follow that up with uh, good old lime juice here, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, all right? There we go. So I'm really excited to try this one out. I love, I love when stuff doesn't sound like it's supposed to taste good together, you know? Anyway, so let's go ahead and put some ice into our shaker. And we're gonna shake that bad boy up for uh, 10 to 15 seconds. All right, folks, I think we gave that a nice help to shake a shake, all right? I wanna go ahead and pull out my glass. I got a Nick and Noro, which I had chilling like a villain. And then we'll go ahead and double strain. All right, so there we have it, folks. Our, the Brooks cocktail. All right, so let's go ahead and give these rude boys some sippy sip action. We're gonna start off with our first one, which is a wordsmith. And again, this is a last word riff. Cheers. Oh my God. So much bangingness. It, it's, it's, it, I gotta tell you, I'm telling you, it, you gotta love big flavors which I do, and, and this is exactly what this is. I mean, you are, you know you're drinking, and you are being greeted with so much. I mean, you get the green chartreuse, the maraschino liqueur, the, uh, uh, the, the Smith & Cross, you know, the lime helps to settle it down a little bit, bring it back a little bit, but all of it is really there, just kind of boom, boom, boom. It's, what's the crazy part is, with all those big flavors, there's a lot of balance here, but it's potent, but it's balanced, and it's so damn good. Mm. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. 
Again, if you're a fan of The Last Word, and if you like funkiness, that combination, it really uh, shows up here. All right, so the next cocktail we're making, or the next cocktail we're making, the next cocktail we're tasting is called the Bahamas Daiquiri. Now this is Smith & Cross, coconut rum, Kahlua, pineapple juice. This is a very tropical one. Let's go ahead and give it a sippy sip. Oh, that is nice. That is really interesting too, oh man. I, I don't know the last time Smith & Cross kind of chilled out a little bit in terms of the other flavors. I mean, the coconut rum is really reeling it back. The pineapple juice is really reeling it back. You know it's there. You get those ripe banana flavors. You absolutely get the, uh, the funkiness in there, but it's not as pronounced as it is usually for me. Um, it's just great kind of like a, a um, I don't know, symphony of flavors going on here. You really pick everything up. We'll say the Kahlua, the, the coffee liqueur, not really picking up too much of that. Um, but definitely the pineapple juice tastes really, really delicious. It's got this kind of syrupy honey feel going on. Um, and uh, the coconut rum, you know, shipwreck is freaking amazing. So like it really, really plays well. This is a nice, delicious cocktail. I really like this. Mm. Nice. And my buddy Trevor Rose is a big daiquiri guy. He's a big rum guy. I'd be interested to see what he thinks about this. Trevor, let me know what you think about this, pal. Anyway, delicious cocktail. Absolutely fantastic. All right, now the one that I'm most interested in because it just seems kind of off. Now, listen, I'm interested in, I'm, I'm, I love big flavors, all kind of crazy stuff. But if it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't sound or look like it goes well together, I, I wouldn't even try it. This is so bold to me that it has to be pretty good. Plus, it comes from Attaboy, um, and I trust a lot of the cocktails that come out of there, right? So this is the uh, the Brooks, which is Smith & Cross, Philanum, Chinar, and Lime Juice. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that's really nice. Oh, wow. There's like this beautiful kind of like elegance to it. You know, uh, the, I feel like the Chinar and the Philanum are really, again, kind of... Giving you the letting letting the, the is letting the Smith and Cross do its thing, but it's kind of bringing it back, saying, "Relax, pal. We got this. We're here with you." You know what I'm saying? You don't got to take over. <laughs> it's really nice. Oh, I really like that. That is nice. If, if I could do anything, maybe I peel back a little bit on the Flarenum, but not too much. I mean, you know, I, honestly, like that's just because of me. I, I I like stuff to be a little more potent. I think it uh. It tastes fantastic just the way it is. I would just peel back the flannel maybe a little bit for my personal taste. Uh, but if I got served this again at a bar, I'd be perfectly happy with it, you know? So anyway, three fantastic cocktails. Oh man, I love all of these guys. Love Smith & Cross. If you don't got this stuff and you love rum and you love just a big, funky, flavorful, potent style of spirit, go ahead, pick this up. You will not regret it, right folks? Anyway, that's all I got for you today. If you liked this video, please press like, please subscribe, and please share with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring, and when life gives you lemons, folks, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.